welcome to a shade sale segment on privacy panels. We wanna show you how to install these. It's very straightforward, but we're gonna go through the steps. So we're going to assume in this case, we're just doing this from the ground because this is a pergola, existing pergola structure. We're gonna put a nice privacy panel up here so I don't have that sun in my face in the afternoon. So in the case of your order, you will have marked on your posts where you're gonna put your screw eyes. So we will have cut your privacy panel to fit the measurements that you've provided us. So I'm gonna go ahead now and start putting our eyes in. Uh, Gareth has taken some photos of the actual hardware setup that you'll receive with the package and we'll get to the other hardware shortly. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and put in our eyes to receive the hardware when we put up our cable for the, the privacy panel. So just follow along. Okay guys, I've taken, uh, I've chosen a drill bit that's slightly smaller than my screw eye. So I, so when I go to put my screw eye in, there's a lot of wood for it to grab. So right now I'm gonna, I've got my marks. I'm gonna pre-drill the hole to receive my screw up. So that's ready to go to put my screw in. I'm gonna do all three of these, no, sorry, all four of these. So I've got three more to do. And again, all you're gonna do now is take your screw eye and begin to drive it in to your hole. And then you grab your awl to finish it. I'll show you. So that's grabbing nice and strong there. I'm just gonna make sure I drive that all the way in to like we've done before with other installs so that that eye goes right to the wood. So you're getting all the strength and also no risk of that shaft bending if that eye is all the way in as I've finished there. Ready to go, I'll do the rest of the three, other three now. Okay, with your privacy panel package, you will have received a cable system and you will have chosen whether it's a two-sided cable system or a full loop. Now, the full loop is usually used when you're not having to access and egress the area, okay? So in this case, we're gonna just do the two-sided because we're only doing a short one to block that afternoon sun. So we wanna have no cable at the bottom. Again, this is a two-sided system. So I've got a pretty simple setup here. I've got my D-shackle already set that we've got ready for you. And I'm gonna let go of this loose cable. And I'm just gonna simply attach my D-shackle on my top eye snug that down nothing too tight just yet but you can just snug it down and then now I'm ready to begin feeding the cable through our handy pulleys that you have that we've also sent nice stainless steel pulleys and the cable is going to slide through these so that when we clip on the panel it's going to slide beautifully on the cables so I'm gonna slide all my pulleys on that are that coordinate or, or correlate with the number of grommets I have in the sale. And you will have that many pulleys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put all those on. As you can see, they are here. And then I'm gonna be able to clip my sale on. Okay, so I'll just keep adding the appropriate number of pulleys and they can, uh, they can be put on. And I'll, I'll continue to do that and then I'll show you how we're just gonna hook the sale on. Real easy. Okay guys, we've got our uh, nice marine grade pulleys, stainless steel pulleys ready to go on the ground. Now the next step is to get, the, get it ready so we can start tensioning the cable so we can get that cable tight enough to support the sail. So I got my nice marine grade turnbuckle with all my stainless steel components on it. One of those components is a D-shackle. That's gonna go into our small little eye here. Okay guys, you see I've set the eyes so they're facing up. The bottom eyes go vertical to the ground, the top eyes go horizontal so that you're pulling the right, on the right tension properly. I'm gonna set this D-shackle in the eye. Okay guys, now again, we're gonna thread our piece of cable through our eyes to finish our two-sided uh, cable system here. And you've been given that little hardware that's important. You've got two cable clamps and a swage that's a spacer. So first you're gonna, usually it's better with two, two people, that, but I'll try to do it myself here because my cameraman's busy. But I'm gonna slate, put on my cable clamps and I'm, this is just a spacer so that when, we, it's a little feature, but when you go to go against your thimble here, it pushes the cable clamps and it allows you to get them nice and close and tight. So then that goes over your thimble. And again, I'll, I'll have to get a second pair of hands here. But now I've got my hardware and stuff set up, ready to tighten this on. And again, we're gonna slide that over there. So now I'm just putting the cables, sorry, the clamps over top of my second piece of cable so I can get this nice and snug and tighten it up so it's all ready to go. So we'll do that in the next little piece here. I've gotten my channel locks for my handy dandy uh, shade sail bag and I've 
just gonna use that to help me tighten the cable because it's real loose right now. So I gotta pull all this slack up and get this cable nice and snug so that when we go to put our panel up, everything is, everything is nice and snug. Now, the turnbuckle will tighten our last final tightening. So you pull it as hard as you can. Okay, and this is what that spacer was for. See, now I've pushed it down. So it's gonna hold the cable in that thimble nice and neat. Now I've got my, uh, a, basically a wrench or a, um, a nut driver to tighten my clamps. I wanna try to keep them tight down. Guys, can you just put your finger there and keep them down? So I'm just gonna snug those up so that swage is nice and snug against the thimble. I'm just using a simple nut driver, which you, you'll have in your ratchet set, or you can always buy that size of a nut driver, but not much point in doing that. Just use what's in your ratchet set to snug that up. And the second one is really just for safety. So I've got the first one tight. I can now easily tighten the second one as a safety. And then we'll finally tighten our turnbuckle. give you this little lubricant. Lubricating that turnbuckle just gives you a long life for the two back turnbuckle. If you do that every year, put a little bit on, the packet's enough to last for quite a while. That's just gonna make sure no friction, no seizing in the turnbuckle. And that stuff just wipes off. Okay, guys, I've got my handy dandy all if it's a pointy little tool. You don't have to have one of these. You could have just use a little Allen key. You could use a little screwdriver. In this case, I've got the tool because we use it all the time. And then you wanna tighten your turnbuckle so the nut goes out that's how you know which way to tighten your turnbuckle so you can do as much as you can by hand and then you start using your awl to tighten the rest it's going to take me a few turns to get this baby nice and snug but that's going to tighten our cable up top and thus get everything tight so we can put our fabric on so i'll go ahead and do this and then we'll catch you on the next segment to put the fabric on okay guys this is the part we've been waiting for get to put up our sail after all that effort which didn't take too long but we're ready so now you just clip that on. It's kind of, make sure you do it the way I'm doing it. it. Makes it super easy, okay? You just push down over the top of the fabric. If you try to do it the other way, it's a little finicky. But this, you just push down and wants to clip on. Super easy. Okay, again, we're getting down to the brass tacks here as far as finishing our install goes. Now, when we allowed for this measurement here, we considered our the distance from the end of the clamp to the end of the end of the panel so that it fits nice and snugly down here. So that's important to do that. Make sure you have this fit nice and tight. Now, in this case, we just showed you this. So you can put these uh, uh, vertical to the ground for bigger, bigger panels. It's a nice way to deal with the loading. You could go horizontal, but vertical is good too. So, and that's just a final clip on for that, that last section now you can make that tighter too you can pull that thing down and make it tighter if you want in this case i just want to have it as a keeper so that when i'm pulling this open and closed it keeps it there okay guys you can probably see that i am well you probably can't see that i'm behind the shade cell so it gives you great privacy and also great sunblock i mean I, I'm, I'm comfortably standing here in that blasting sun right now and now it's as simple as holding it open. So easy with the pulleys. And as I say, I've got this one side clip, so it's not going anywhere. And then to pull it back open, super easy. You can do it down by here, because these pulleys wheel so easy. So you just pull it right open. And you might clip the top as well, clip the bottom, so it's nice and tight. So it's just a great thing. Okay, guys, you shot now, you probably can't see anything because the sun's blasting. But as I work my way with the panel, the difference is amazing. So now you're dealing with a sun block as well as a beautiful privacy block if you want. And that's nice and snug. And as I say, you just slide it open real easy. We like to make it easy and simple, but also very effective.